Hello, you are welcome back. So I'm uh, here to continue my last session. I hope to talk about rate regression mainly today, right? So uh, last week I discussed about uh, pain lines logistic regression uh, without using any uh, uh, using uh, any tuning method, right? So here the algorithm will be quite different uh, rather than the uh, binary logistic regression. Uh, this is used for uh, binary for predicting binary outcomes uh, as well, right? And uh, uh, there are some uh, differences. We can uh, distinguish these uh, uh, two uh, with our earlier logistic logistic regression model. In our earlier logistic regression model, uh, we have contributed only significant uh, variables for the final model. But here, all the variables will be contributed, and the function is adapted for maximizing the likelihood function. Uh, then, um, to maximize to maximize the uh, the likelihood function, all these uh, coefficients will be changed, right? So uh, let me show you the so for make sure my board right okay so here um, you can see uh, this is the likelihood function right so this is the likelihood function this equals summation i is from one to n this is for uh, penalized the uh, reach. Uh, reach, reach, regression, right? And uh, I introduce you that uh, there are three types of uh, penalized logistic regression. So uh, this is a kind of uh, penalized logistic regression we use to um, uh, maximize the performance of the model, right? So here we will contribute all the uh, all the variables. Uh, how they are contributed is uh, it's a very detailed uh, node plus i is from 1 to k, then d i and xi. So all these uh, all these coefficients may be determined uh, uh, to minimize surely uh, there is a yeah, I made a pretty mistake here, right? This was to be changed like my size from, I, I drive this later, but uh, mainly I uh, pay my full attention on uh, using this uh, uh, code, how, how we can interpret it, how we can uh, read this uh, output, and how we can compare these two models on the same data set, right? If we have more time, uh, I hope to talk about even uh, anti lasso regression and lasso regression, right? So, this is logarithm of beta node plus summation i is from 1 to k, beta i, xi, then this one, then 1 minus. Y i oh, is not closed, right? There is a summation yet. Uh, uh, then uh, a logarithm of y minus beta node plus, right? Summation of uh, beta i x i then i is from one to k. Is why i is the response, right? Xi they are for uh, all these uh, variables, right? One minus b and uh, plus uh, this one, right? So, uh, so this uh, summation, uh, if it's working for maximizing uh, the likelihood, that's how these uh, options are formed, right? So, 
uh, here a default alpha value equals zero in this case, right? Now when we perform rich regression, alpha equals zero, then when we perform last storage regression, um, alpha is turned into one, right? So um, here uh, it shrinks all these coefficients uh, uh, towards zero, right? Towards zero. Uh, so uh, now we will try to understand it uh, using the output. Uh, let me show switch this here. Right, okay. Um, let's see, this, this is the final output, right? Uh, we, we have worked on the biologistic regression. So I need library, library carrot is needed here. Library carrot, then how um, I need to uh, form a sequence of uh, a lambda value, right? So between 10 to the power minus 1 and uh, 3, uh, maybe 100, uh, 50, right? Maybe 50. Uh, 10 to the power when the value is as a sequence, sequence from minus 1, 10 to the power minus 1 point, uh, 0 0.1, from 0 0.1 to uh, 1000 maybe, right? Um, a length, uh, length equals 50, 50 observations for lambda may be simulated, then this is my uh, model, right, which I used to call it the name rich in train function may be used, which is included inside current library train. Right. Then um, color. Color is the response. So all the variables may be contributed train equals sorry. Uh, data equals the uh, tree and uh, pre process maybe now and method is GL net. This method is adapted for performing uh, rate regression and last of regression, right? So uh, then, hyperparameters uh, and train controls. They are control must be train control train control uh, repeated CV will be used number of uh, K folds, uh, number of K folds, number of K folds will be 10. The repeats, uh, repeats I used include uh, these five repeats. Then after PR control, we want to uh, use uh, tuning grid, right? Uh, grid tune must be included, right? Tune grid. Tune Great equals expand dot uh, great, right? Great expand the great inside this uh, alpha. I said do that the default alpha value for uh, range regression, which is adapted to uh, maximize the light function. By shrinking all these uh, very very portions of all these variables towards zero, is just uh, zero value well, equals zero then right? Uh, lambda uh, lambda equals uh, lambda what I created right? Then during uh, is fine. Yeah. <laughs> Now, now it's all right. Uh, let's see whether it's working or not. Right.
Yeah, YouTube works. Good speed man, yeah. Yeah, uh, we have uh, performed uh, this algorithm using uh, object number of uh, lambda values equally uh, spaced, right, from 0 0.1 to 1000, right? So all of these lambda values may be substituted and uh, five rupees will be used with uh, 10k forward method, right? This is what the uh, high parameter to me. So the best type parameters will be used, right? Right, okay. Oh, there are some warnings because it's uh, sometimes uh, when it looks at all these attributes, some um, uh, variables are not necessary for the uh, one whether it tries to contribute all these variables, right? Okay, now uh, let's see uh, reach. Uh, I will create, I will best tune, right? Uh, best tune is needed, best tune is needed, and I will plot, uh, plot this mm, range. Must be plotted, plot, right? Must be plot, uh, right? Okay, this uh, you know that, uh, uh, this must be uh, uh, cross validation. Uh, road main square error must be like this. Uh, and regularization parameters means uh, it's nothing else. Uh, rich regression parameters. These are rich regression parameters. You can remember that we have said it from uh, 0 0.1 to 1000, right? That was said from 0 0.1 to 1000. So then the uh, best uh, lambda value is uh, found out. Uh, let's see for uh, when alpha equals 0, uh, lambda equals 0 0.1. According to this, uh, we could uh, uh, change this. Uh, let's say for you, let's, let's check whether uh, it's working fine rather than our earlier model. I have prepared or not, right? So it may take a little bit time. So likewise, you can uh, prepare all these as you wish. Uh, now, so here the yeah, it's it's zero point zero two nine. Uh, likewise, right? Or it may be giving us uh, uh, proper accuracy rather than our earlier parameters when I set right. So uh, now I want to find out all these coefficients, coef uh, inside coefficient function, coef function. Uh, I want to include uh, a read uh, dollar sign best model, right? Best uh, uh, sorry, not best model, but the final, final model, right? Uh, final uh, model, final model, and how to set the lambda value, right? Uh, I'll use this uh, without designing it to manually reach uh, best tuned you know, best tune and lambda, lambda must be picked, right? Over there, right? Okay. Uh, let's see what about these coefficients uh, related to this uh, this uh, tune uh, model, right? These are coefficients. All of these you can see. All of these variables are contributed for this uh, model by shrinking uh, it towards zero. It has been shrinked towards zero, shrunk towards zero. Uh, that's why we have set the alpha value at zero. Uh, please give me a few seconds. Let me check whether it is me. Yeah, okay, it's been recorded. Just I wanted to uh, make sure. Right, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right, okay. Somehow. 
there are a couple of challenges I'm using my mobile data when they are calling it will be disconnected right right somehow I'll try my best to manage this right okay now uh, we are at the yeah okay uh, we have trained the model now uh, I want to check the consistency of the model so the I want to do the most compassion part of the model I want to evaluate the model right model evaluation is needed now uh, so let me do it as usual we can use predict function right uh, I trade, I used to name it predict uh, uh, reach right predict reach then predict predict Inside predict function, what is my model? Reach, where is my model? And new data, what about my new data? New data equals uh, testing data, right? It must be tested. Uh, so, evaluation will be done based on this testing set. So, let me print this uh, predict underscore uh, reach, right? Let me check this. Uh, it will be coming up with some properties. So, uh, what I want to do is I want to convert uh, all this into uh, 1 and 0 to evaluate the model, right? In order to evaluate the model, I'm going to uh, use if else uh, function. Else function will be used uh, in this case, then predict, uh, predict underscore reach. Uh, which is equal or larger than 0 0.5 may be converted into 1 and otherwise uh, all the others will be turned into 0 right now uh, now it's all right uh, last time I think I used uh, like the current and confusion metric uh, function was used directly in order to evaluate the model so it has given us uh, age of every uh, indicators, its specification, its specificity, accuracy, and all the others are, are given, right? And all the others are given. So, uh, uh, so sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, there are some disturbances. That's why, right. right? Okay. Somehow uh, today I hope to use a table function, right? Table function is going to be used. Table, table, table. I'll I'll include the uh, predict, predict underscore it, right? Uh, and then I want to compare it with test uh, color, right? I have predicted colors of wines, right? Now table, table. I'll print uh, table function. Sorry, table will be printed. According to the one, well, you can see here uh, uh, this predict. Uh, this is the prediction. Uh, this is for prediction zero. Zero means uh, I don't remember what that is. Uh, I think uh, let me let me go. Oh, actually, I uh, I forgot that. Yeah, okay. Uh, red points are designated by one, and white points are designated by zero. Then uh, uh, actually, uh, there are 972 wines and uh, they are coached. Uh, 972 wines are coached, uh, predicted as uh, white wines correctly, right? And uh, 312 wines are, red wines are predicted correctly uh, using this one. Okay, uh, when we compare it with our earlier model, uh, let's see the accuracy of that model. It's uh, 0 0.99 for around that uh, approximately. Uh, let me check the confusion metric of that. Uh, yeah, this was this was the confusion metric. You can see 572 uh, white points uh, were pre uh, correctly and 370. Uh, let's compare it. 317, 370. Yeah. Uh, this accuracy is a little bit less than the um, uh, penalized uh, logistic regression, right? So uh, it doesn't matter. So when when we when we compare these a uh, couple of these models, we can say uh, it uh, we have tried to uh, uh, 
tune these high parameters in order to uh, maximize the performance and in order to maximize the uh, likelihood that uh, the accuracy is ready. Uh, it must be discussed, uh, but uh, in advance, I hope to uh, convert this into a probability table, right? Probability table uh, prob dot a will function is used tab inside this right uh, you can see why is it not working it should be working right okay uh, it's nothing else just i have to order this uh, confusion metric into a probability table and uh, then we can find out its specificity and all these things can be found out uh, they are in, uh, in probability in, in terms of probability then uh, i want the accuracy uh, so uh, mean mean of what mean of uh, predict 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 underscore read equals with test uh, color uh, um, found out right this is where the accuracy print accuracy of the model right accuracy of the model right accuracy of the model right here you can uh, you can use some uh, test function right uh, uh, that's why the accuracy kind of inform by now earlier model can perform rather than this one, right? Uh, but the thing is, uh, we were trying to increase the performance of uh, uh, this binary outcomes. Uh, this model uh, was adapted to find our logics uh, in some other earlier model, right? Uh, we can we can find our logic. So. Uh, when we go forward, I hope to talk about, uh, I hope to find out, uh, show you how to find out the expectation of that, right? Expectation of uh, the red by and expectation of white by, right? So they can be found now. You have the idea now. Uh, row wise, we can compute it. Row wise, we have computed it, but uh, it's uh, too much compulsory to do, you know how to find out the expectation of each, right? And uh, right, so in in, in binary uh, in, in binomial uh, binomial probability distribution, you know that uh, when we are have, when we are raising a number of uh, trials, uh, while the uh, probability of uh, achieving or success or yes or whatever we talk uh, is p, right? And the expectation is given by n times p, right? n times p. Uh, that's given by x times uh, summation, sorry, summation of x times the probability uh, of each of the corresponding scenarios will be given as that uh, expectation because the probability is given by uh, the observation uh, over overall uh, count uh, with the empirical statistics. Uh, then, uh, the random variable uh, times so the frequency over uh, over a count is giving us the expectation value. It's nothing else is the arithmetic mean, right? So it's a discrete uh, probability distribution. Uh, so it's, it's a discrete random variable and it's a uh, probability mass function, right? So uh, like by using limits, we can convert that into probability functions uh, by considering integration right so likewise here we can find it out that uh, that uh, the how, how we can uh, discuss these uh, two outcomes uh, this uh, model accuracy is uh, reduced a little bit right but uh, we try to maximize the likelihood uh, using this uh, model but the final accuracy was a little bit uh, with respect to the earlier model, right? So, uh, how we can defer this, how we can compare it. 
this model uh, is uh, uh, looking for uh, maximizing the likelihood of each of every observations, but the thing is this, uh, uh, this prevents from overfitting and underfitting, right? So maybe in our early model, it may be sometimes overfitted, right? That's why the accuracy it seems like the accuracy is uh, increased, right? Rather than this one, right? So likewise, uh, we can perform lasso regression by switching this alpha into one, it's not in use, it's uh, shrunk to a one, right? So this, um, in, in order to maximize the likelihood uh, function, the, all these options will be changed uh, towards uh, one, right? Okay, uh, so I think it's enough for now. If you have any doubt, just you can uh, let me know. Uh, we can predict uh, whatever it is, uh, whether it's a uh, red wine or white wine, even using this model, right? Okay. Somehow, uh, for today, I'll have to go, right? Actually, I have to cook. Uh, and some more cars are there. Uh, so, see you later, right? Thank you very much.